Today, I'm very excited to be testing Jackery's biggest power station, their brand new Explorer 3000. Right, first things first, let's get this beast unboxed. One 240 charging cable, user manual, I'm going to pop this straight on charge and I'll talk you through all of the ports and whatnot and then looking forward to getting into some proper testing. <laughs> so I've just got back from Glastry Festival, hence the nails. 240 input, it's just down here on the right hand side. The user manual says it will charge from 0 to 100%, about 1.8 hours um, just off of AC. So I'll let that do its thing. Output ports, we've got three AC with 3,600 watt max output. Now this, the size of this thing is deceiving. I've used a similar output um, power station before. Um, and I think this thing's about 50% smaller and at least 50% lighter. It'll actually peak at 7200 watts, so I'm going to try my best to try and find something that this won't power, but I think it might be up against it. It's got two USB-C outputs with 100 watt max, two USB-A outputs, 18 watt max, and a cigarette lighter port with 10 amps. Input wise, it'll take 10 amps of 240 volt, right, we've got in, like we've got plugged in at the minute, and DC input, it will take 12 to 16 volts, it'll take eight amps. Um, and it'll also take solar input, which I've read is a thousand watt max, which is huge. So I'll just let this charge and then we'll go and find some things to put it through its paces with. So whilst this charging, I thought I'd run through some of the technical specs. This has been classed as the world's smallest and lightest three kilowatt hour life PO4 power station. That's thanks to something called CTB or cell to body tech that's also used in EVs. Warranty wise, they're offering five years, but have claimed 4,000 cycles or 10 years of daily use is realistic. Right, we're fully charged, 100%. Time to see what we can actually run off this. Um, start with the basics. Camera battery charger in one of the USB A's. Then out of the USB-C's, obviously things like phones. My MacBook runs off USB-C too, so I can plug that straight in. Then on to AC outputs. It's actually quite dusty in here, so Hoover would be a good idea. So on Jackery's website, it's actually quite handy. Um, if you go on to whichever model, this is obviously the 3000 V2. If you type in the wattage of the appliance you're assuming to run, so something like a kettle is gonna be 2000 watts. It'll run a kettle for 1.3 hours. So a bit of hoovering and we're not even down by a percent. So obviously light work for it. Um, I've actually got some scraps. As some of you will know I'm building a van at the minute, camper van slash works van. Got loads of scraps and I could have chopped them up into firewood sized pieces. So I might as well do that, see how many percent we can get it down by. So I'll run my chop saw. I'll also use the hoover to keep the dust down.
97%. Right, time for a bit more danger. One of these trees started falling down back in the winter and Dad's slowly been chopping up some logs. I'll just give him a hand and I thought it'd be a good demo. Plus, I've never used the chainsaw, so you're welcome. I was hoping I could pull it down, but it's quite stuck. But there are some logs I feel I can help with. Thought I'd bring this up to the van just so you can see how small it is to scale with the van, if you see what I mean. The fact that it's a power of house is crazy. It feels a touch overkill just to take away in the car camping, but if you like definitely didn't want to run out of power, then it could be a good shout because this would quite easily fit in the back of a small hatchback. I will admit, initially, I was surprised that something this big and heavy it's not heavy for what it is, but something this weighty. I'm surprised it didn't actually come with wheels, but I've just checked on Jackery's website and you can actually get a trolley. Um, specifically for this, I think, um, as an option. So if this was going to live permanently in a van build or in the back of your car to go camping, um, and you didn't need the wheels in the way, then at least you don't have them constantly with it. Um, but also if you did want to use it to sort of go between places, then it might be worth getting the wheels. Also, just to note, if you did want to charge this via um, a car cigarette socket or via solar, then you would need to buy the cable separately. Um, they are both on Jacku's website. Now, if you did want to check um, this model or other models out, then using my link, there will be a special discount, um, which I haven't figured out what it would be yet, but I'll put it up on the screen here somewhere. Um, thank you for watching, and thank you to Jackery for giving me the motivation to help me dab with the logs. And I'll see you next week for probably more van build.